So just the one match to come um, after that two love victory in the second doubles. Four love now overall. And uh, Kazumasa Sakai of Japan is going to take on Lee Chuk Yu in this men's singles, the third singles. So can Hong Kong with at least a game on the board? Managed just the one so far in the opening match, but look at the last three. 31 minutes, 40 minutes, 27 minutes. Pretty one-sided in Japan's favour in the last few matches. Japan, represented by Kazuma Sakai. Hong Players Kong will be China. on their way shortly. Represented by Lee Shuk Yu. And here they come. Um, and remember Kyle. that it Eric could be important, Kurt even though Denmark. clearly Japan have won this match. It is best of five Find and they leave four love. But from India. should nations be so tied on points at the Prahed end of the group Thai stage, Kung then... Matches, games, and even points could be taken into consideration to sort things out. So, Lee Shuk Yu, Gamakan Putatsin, Eric Kirk, Jack Pratet Denmark, Gamakan Gamkakan Song Lu, Fine Sea Dad, as always an incentive at this stage. Toss will be imminent. And Hong Kong, and no mugs, some quarter finalists a couple of years ago. So this is an uh, impressive performance so far Red. Red from uh, Team Japan. Red. First meeting Black between Red. these two. Black. Receive. So Sakai, Sakai is going to serve first. Sakai. Attention, please do not use flash when taking photos. Rank 17 in the world, as you see. That 15 was uh, just back in March, so a few months back. And he's in good form. He made the final of the Indonesia Masters earlier this year, did uh, Kazumasa Sakai. And his opponent, Lee Chuk Yu, currently down at 37. That is uh, his best ever. He's only 21 years of age. He's got, he won a silver medal at the Asian Youth Games way back. And last month, he took down the New Zealand Open in Auckland. So we know he's in form. So this might be a close-ish encounter. Chair umpire is Eric Kurt from Denmark. And Finne Dakian. Is your service judge. There he is with that little bit of equipment that helps him gauge whether the serve is no more than 115 centimetres from the ground. I've got to say, we've had no issues at all today in terms of you know, a couple of service faults called, but none of the players have questioned any of those decisions. It's been Excellent behaviour all round and a very satisfying day for Japan and uh, their team of coaches. At last count, there were 11 of them here with uh, not just the Thomas Cup team but the Uber Cup team, the women. And they've got chances in that as well. I mentioned at the start they were a lot of people's dark horses here. China are the big, big favourites in the men's event. Ready to play? It would just give Team Hong Kong a bit of heart if they could at least put a match on the board here, even though obviously the, the tie is lost.
Lots of noise still coming from uh, the other court where the Thai Uber Cup team are in action, so that's why the crowd's getting excited. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Hong Kong, China, represented by Lee Chuk Yu. And on my left, Japan, represented by Kazumasa Sakai. Japan to serve, love all, play. So Sakai serving, I think it's underway in this final match, the opening day of Group C. And so far, the one, only game no. that Japan have lost was the very first one in the men's in the first men's singles when Nkalon took uh, the first game from Kento Momota. Oh. One. Right on the oh. sideline with that. Over. Well, two, one. Both players guilty of a uh, little misjudgment in the early stage of this first game. Service ball court too high. Well, having just said we've hardly had any service, service faults, there was one. Two, all. Commentator's curse that was. Two all. How much height did uh, Lee Chuk Yu get there? Wow. Look at this leap. Three, two. Sakai. Okay. Oh. Well, that wasn't hit as hard, but it was placed. Absolutely Three, perfectly. Four. Signs though this one of being a, a really entertaining competitive match. Just a bit too much angle. It was very adjacent. Tell you what, might have found some challenge if you saw that again. Service ball caught too high. Service over. So both. Players now have infringed on serve. Well, he really is hitting that shuttle cut well at the moment. Missed that. Six, four. In his seven years, Hughes Junior, Sakai. Wonder whether experience will uh, triumph this match. Just a point between them now. Yeah, nicely anticipated the serve there. Seven, five. Did uh, you? Well, 
now we've got both men playing well at the same time. Again. Seven. Oh. Out. Service over. Well, that will be infuriating Eight, for Sakai. It's two points he's given away now. One a service error, one a service fault. wide so maybe Nine, just a little chink seven. of light here for the lead <laughs> well, sometimes fine Ten, margins seven. In sport, the last two smashes that Sakai has hit, both missed by a whisk, and suddenly there's daylight for, for Lee here on the scoreboard at 10 7. That was better. Service over. 8 10. So, Lee will go to the chair Seven, with uh, a handy little 11 8 lead. Needs a few more of those, Sakai. Gonna get himself back into this first Nine, game. Eleven. So far, just given so Lee too many opportunities, and the Hong Kong player has taken them. Willingly. The impetuosity of youth at 21 years of age. As I said, having won the New Zealand Open last month, how much confidence will that have given him? Incalculably, the thought. Off the middle of the racket. That 
was nicely placed. I think Saka might be a bit surprised. How good the man on the other side of the net is. I'm sure we've seen him play before, but I've never met these two. Sometimes you can get just a little bit of a rude awakening. That won't do Lee's confidence any harm either. Error from his opponent, gifting him back his uh, three-point lead. Just not got his rhythm at all at the moment, the Japanese. Getting increasingly one sided here. 16 11. Brilliant again. 17, well, Sakai doesn't know what's hit him here. put my watch on it but since they came back from their break midway through this game I'm sure it's been more than about three minutes astonishing run of points finally arrests the slide but surely too late in this game for Sakai Well, he set the opportunity up brilliantly, just missed it. 13, 18. Still in control, though, of this opening game. So just a couple of points away now from securing this opening game. Energy sapping rally, and Lee came out on top, and here are six game points for the man from Hong Kong. Totally denied. 15, 
Well, how impressive was that game from Lee Chuk Yu? It really was. 21 15. I'm not sure even that does it justice, to be honest. In just 14 minutes. It wasn't just the scoreline, it's the manner in which he achieved it. Some terrific badminton. Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. So the first real chance for some while for Hong Kong to get at least a, a match on the board. Four love down, remember, in the tie. Second game. Love all. Sakai hey. in a bit of trouble here. One. And no done. question that he was second best for pretty much all of that opening game. He wouldn't necessarily have thought that would be the case. Found another one, you know. Two, no. Bit of adrenaline in that, I think. Always a danger he could get carried away the way he played in that first game. Try and hit winners off every shot. Don't think it's even that Sakai played that badly. Just his opponent. He's on fire, there's a challenge here. He's called in. Hard to tell from my angle, I'm about as far away from it as you could possibly be. The other side of the hall. So let's see what Hawkeye has to say. That's fine. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Over. Three, two, play. Almost surprised when he makes an error. Three, all.
one thing we know about Sakai is that he is a, a real battler. He's going to give it absolutely everything, even though, as mentioned, his country have won this opening tie. That is just phenomenally impressive. And he's been doing it pretty much from the start of the match. He set that up so well and then missed a pretty straightforward backhand from almost oh, point blank range. I don't think he could really have played that shot any better. Had his opponent on his knees and then found the middle of the net. such a mature so player well. for a 21 year old that's Lee not uh, Sakai Five, oh. good leave Great serve. Seven, I'm surprised five. Saka. I mean, just literally clipped the frame of the racket. Five. Starting to dominate again. Warning signs out here for Sakai. Sakai. won't help the uh, five, five. Sakai cause. No. Well, he can't hit everything Should for a winner, one. but understandable that he wants Six, to try at the moment, nine. the way he's performing here. Once again, just a bit too good. And Lee will have an 11 7 lead as they go to the chair. Right 
Seven, seven. Play. Service over. Eight, eleven. Well, I reckon Sakai is just a little bit shell shocked here. I seriously think he is. Good. Service over. Twelve eight. And every time Sakai just threatens to try and get back in it, there's an almost immediate setback. Made another one. Thirteen eight. Well, certainly wouldn't say he came in without a chance, but I don't think too many expected him to be dominating Sakai like this. Look at this. He's giving an exhibition out there. 48. Finally, he mishits one, and he's human. Once again, you leave him with chance to play that shot at that kind of range, and you're asking for serious trouble. Enough of a battle at the moment just for Sakai to win a point. Almost a cause for a personal celebration. Eleven fifteen. 
<laughs> I think he, he was almost spoilt for choice there. He had so many options. Had too much time. And Sakai just, just suggesting the mini comeback is on after that point. He's got his deficit down to three now. Well, that <laughs> guess it kind of typifies his day at the office today. Service error at an absolutely critical time. Good judgment. Sneaking 12. towards the winning line. That was clever play. 12. Once again. And at the moment, the youngster is schooling the much more experienced professional. OK, didn't expect him to miss that, but it's the pressure he's being put under. It's going to mean he makes mistakes. And there's another one. 19, 12. Just too good again. This is... I can't believe he's played better than this very often. He's got eight match points here. Eight match points to see off the world number 17. And he's done it pretty quickly too. We'll give you match time if required shortly. <laughs> that was a really... Really nervy one. 13, 20. Shouldn't really be nervous. He's, he's still got seven match points here. Sakai hanging on by a very thin thread. Game. Not hanging on anymore. How good was that? 21 13 in the second game. And a bloodless victory in just 33 minutes. Hong Kong, China, 21, 15, and at least 21, it means that 30. Hong Kong are on the board in this tie, albeit that Japan have triumphed by four matches to one in this opening Group C game. First day of the Thomas Cup. Remember, we go all the way through till Sunday with live coverage of both the Thomas Cup and the Uber Cup. But this was just a stunning display from Lee Chuk Yu. Well, here's what happened today in the men's singles. Momota dropped the first game, but then came back well to beat Ng Ka Long fairly comfortably in three games. Uh, in the men's doubles, Kimura and Sonoda Solid enough against Lee and all. That was straight games in barely half an hour. Uh, in the singles, Nishimoto saw off uh, Wong to Love. Two fairly straightforward games there as well. And then the second doubles, uh, Inoue and Kaneko, phenomenal against Mac and Tang. And then as we've just seen, Hong Kong on the board finally uh, through Lee Chek Yu with a, a brilliant two love destruction of the very talented Kazuma Sasakai. The next up uh, will be Denmark versus Russia. That's 7 o'clock local time, so in around about 50 minutes. Uh, that's Uber Cup, or Uber Cup, sorry. So Group C, so with the women next. 
on court two at seven. That's all we have for you for the moment. Please rejoin us, though. I've been Trevor Harris. My colleague Paul Hand will be with you in just over three quarters of an hour. Bye for now.